Welcome to the Front Seat Life Podcast, where I help you learn to be unapologetically who you are and live your life from the front seat through personal development, self-awareness, and real and raw conversations about life, love, and business. I'm a former psychotherapist and couples counselor turned author, speaker, coach, and lovingly, well, I hope so anyway, been nicknamed Jessica Kickbutts because I believe sometimes we need hand-holding and sometimes we just need to be told the freaking truth, even if it hurts a little. So each week I'll be sharing truth bombs, life lessons, powerful interviews, and intuitive insights to empower you to get up, show up, and live your life in a new, powerful, authentic way. So if you're ready to climb into your front seat and embark on a journey of total transformation, you have come to the right place. Start your engines. Let's do this. Lifers, it is your host Jessica Butts, and I am excited to be here for part three of this three part series. So, as I've described in these episodes thus far, part one and part two, this is part three of three. That back in the day when I was getting ready to go to graduate school, uh, it was the summer before I started graduate school, and I I really, really, I think it's funny that I don't remember the name of the book, but I don't remember the name of the book that I read at the park, which is such a disservice to how important these questions were. Like it shaped my entire life. And I do think it's interesting that I don't remember where I read these questions. (laughs) That's awful. But the questions are and were uh, were to me then, and I continue to use them, and now I'm posing them to you in this three-part series of who are you, which obviously I'm obsessed with, with personality type, core values, codependency, my time as a, as a therapist, of digging into your past, you know, all that stuff I love to do. Uh, where are you going? Having a long-term plan for your life and not living five minutes in front of your face and vision boards and mindsets and all that fun stuff and the J and the P dichotomy. And now we're going to be talking about how are you going to get there? So who are you? Where are you going? And how are you going to get there? And as a reminder, when I read those questions, I I was really, really struck. Again, you know, you have those moments where you just will never forget where you were, what was going on. It was like, you know, God parted the the clouds and came down and was like, ah, you were going to remember this for the rest of your life. And that moment was very, very true when I read those questions because I did not know. I did not know. I was in my mid thirties. I was literally starting my life all over. My marriage was not in a good place. I had quit a corporate job that I had had for, well, I mean, since I started working in a different places, but the same career and was literally going to start my life all over. Little did I know that two years later, I would also be getting, well, I probably knew I was going to say little did I know I was getting a divorce two years later, but let's get real. I probably knew that, uh, or at least starting the process. So, they struck me very powerfully because I did not know the answers to those questions. And that was part of why I was lost. I mean, it's a lot of the reason why people choose to work with me now is because uh, they they have similar issues. They've got similar stuff going on. And have I perfected it? Of course not. Absolutely not. Have I done a shitload of work around it? Absolutely, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. I'm committed to it. It's my, it, it gets me more excited than like anything else in my life. I love it so much. I love doing this work on myself. I love helping other people do it. And so that's where today is, is part three of three. How are you going to get there? So my friends, I'm just going to buckle up right now. I know you know to never listen to this episode with the kids listening because I drop F-bombs. Today will be no different. I'll tell you right now, I'm fired up. Up. This is where I get real, real, real butt kicky. And my guess is I'm going to be butt kicky like uh, never before. Well, 
now but that's not true i mean not never before like at my events or and when i'm on the stage is when i get robot kicky but i will probably drop a few f-bombs so just buckle up all right so how you are going to get there is comprised of a bunch of different things. I've got a huge list here that I'm just going to kind of go through with you. But the very first thing is, is about taking action. So I, I, <laughs> one of the, the, uh, the things I dislike most about people is when they are, what's the word I want? Dang it. The word literally just escaped me. Um, ooh, entitled, entitled, entitled is the word. <laughs> People were entitled. And I think part of entitlement comes from expecting things to come to you just because. So just because you have white skin or just because you grew up in money or just because whatever, you are entitled to things without putting in a lot of hard work, without taking action. And I just, I I, I ain't got no patience for that. I just don't have any patience for that. I also don't believe in just like, sorry, I mean, you know, I'm a Christian that says F a lot. I also don't just believe in just praying. I believe that God is on this path with us um, and he expects us to do some work. He expects us to do some work. So when people are, you know, oh, I just meditated about it or I'm manifesting it or, you know, I'm doing like all forms of meditation. I'm like, that's great. And what are you doing the rest of the day? Like, Are you taking action? So I get pretty, again, pretty butt kicky about that because I just find it ridiculous when people expect things no matter what. They expect them because their mindset's all straight. And I'm like, that's fucking great. And it's maybe half the problem. I, You know, it's probably half. I, I you know, I don't know. There's a lot of mindset coaches out there that would say it's more than that. I, I don't, haven't done any research on it, so I don't really know. But it's, you know, it's probably not more than half because you got to actually do some work sitting around. And that's why I don't like the, the, the book or the movie The Secret, because it's really about just sitting around a man manifesting it. And I just don't believe that that's true. I believe you also need to take some action. So I created a system called the 3S method. The 3S method is structure, systems, and singular focus. And this is quite honestly, whether this is about your life or your business. So structure is about you. It's your life. It's your morning practice, getting up on time, how you're spending your time, compartmentalization, CEO meetings, you know, all the things that are around things that I talk about incessantly about structure, like getting up at a certain time, going to bed at a certain time. Like it's just, again, right? The entitlement. I just can't, I can't handle, oh, you know, I'm getting up at nine and, you know, I'm not doing anything and watching TV. And I'm like, well, that's... <laughs> Just you might want to start there. You might want to start there. And then systems for your business specifically, but also for your personal life are things outside of you. So this is auto pay on all of your bills. This is for business. I mean, you know, I've got a truckload of stuff to teach you in summer school. If you, you know, so choose to come do that with us, uh, around CRMs and online calendars and online payments and auto responder series and lead magnets and IFOs and email series and you know, all the things that help help you in systems basically get your shit together. There's nothing crazier to me when I hear people are, you know, like just they're doing it by on the fly. They don't have contracts. They don't. Ha oh, my God. I just can't. I can't. So you got to have some systems. And again, systems for your life can be, you know, having your kids do chores for you or again, auto pay all, you know, there's all kinds of different things that you can think of, I'm sure. And then singular focus is absolutely around something that I've done for years, which are 90 day goals, mind mapping, a bunch of tools to help you really stay focused on what needs to get done right now. So singular focus to me is probably the most effective tool I've ever, I've used or the concept really around getting shit done and building the business that I've built is because we intuitive types specifically, we love to squirrel. 
So NPs specifically are actually called squirrels, but intuitives have it as well. We get bored very, very easily. We love bright, shiny objects. We get bored. Day in, day out routine is like death to us. We hate it, hate it, hate it. So anytime we can squirrel or create something new, we're all about it. And so this is something that I've watched over and over and over again in myself and also in my hundreds, maybe even thousands of clients that I've helped over the years. And one of the main things that we talk about in Don't Do Stuff You Suck At Summer School is singular focus, making sure you get out of our creative, visionary, intuitive brains through mind mapping. We do not do smart goals. We do not make lists unless we're in our back seat, by the way. We love to get it out big picture. I just taught my Live Unapologetically group this morning about mind mapping and people were like, holy shit, this is awesome. I'm like, I know, I've been telling you that. It's so helpful to mind map. And so that's a way to get out big picture. So when I mind map, I typically do 18 months out. So it's uh right now it's June 24th. This is going to be airing on June 26th. And I've been going through that right now for the next 18 months. So I've been mind mapping what the rest of this year will look like into 2021. And then this is the power of singular focus. Then you take an intuitive approach. You take a look at what's on there and you might need some help with this from, you know, an accountability partner, your mastermind groups, a coach, somebody, somebody in, you know, the summer school or whatever, whatever group you're in to take a step back, look at everything that needs to get done and focus on what in there on your mind map needs top priority. What will help you build this house of your life or your business? What is the foundation to get you to the next thing? Because again, as intuitives, we love to squirrel off and we've got to stay focused. We've got to stay focused, singular focus. So in my 90 day sheets, I have three things to help you stay focused. And I'll be honest, I think the beauty of a 90 day sheet is that that's all you have to do. I mean, for somebody who's an overachiever, like who are my ambitious overachiever women, right? Yeah. Hey girls. Hey girls. I get you. I am so ambitious, so overachieving that I'm like, let's do all the godforsaken things right now. And if I've learned anything over the last nine years running my business is that things take longer than I think they're going to take. They take longer than all my clients think they're going to take. And, and this is very powerful. When I build the foundation the right way and in the right order, and I do these 90 day goals and I get them done, magic happens. That my friends, is how real, real growth happens. And it's about taking action. And then the next thing I want to talk about is it's about taking personal responsibility. So there's the 3S method. That's about taking action. And now I want to talk a bit about personal responsibility. My friends, no one's going to come rescue you. Nobody's going to come do this for you. I'm not even going to do it for you. I, this one, I'm, I'll, I'll tell you a secret. One of the first things we learned in graduate school when I was going to therapy school, I call it, <laughs> when I was getting my master's in counseling, is they tell us to never work harder than our clients. Boom. <laughs> So if you've got a coach or a therapist and you're expecting them to work harder than you, they're not. We can't. We can't. So the personal responsibility is no one's going to come fix it. No therapist is going to work harder than you. No coach is going to work harder than you because you have to do it. I can teach you all the things Anybody can teach you all the things and what it comes down to is, are you being a victim? Sorry, I told you I was going to kick your butt. Are you being a victim by blaming other people? Woe is me, coronavirus, I can't do this. Yes, you fucking can. Yes, you can. 
Are you distracting yourself through resistance? Are you creating drama in your life out of resistance? Are you blaming other people? Are you uh, sleeping in? Are you, I don't know. I just saw somebody, I just saw somebody, oh, I don't know if I want to say this. <laughs> I'm not going to say this. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll give a different example because that person might listen to this and then I'm going to feel like a jerk. Uh, so I, I will say a, a form of resistance is like, oh, I'm going to move right now or I'm going to buy a house or I'm going to redecorate or I'm going to buy a puppy, or buy a puppy. I'm going to go rescue a, hopefully you're going to rescue a puppy. I'm going to whatever the thing is instead of your singular focus or working on your business. That my friends is nothing more than just some plain resistance. And it's okay, but you've got to identify it as such because that is exactly what it is. It is straight up a form of resistance is I'm going to go flit and go do this other thing or I'm going to pick a fight. That's what I do. Actually, I pick fights. God bless my partner that he knows this now, but I create drama. Uh, it's so dumb, but it's totally my pattern. And I create drama I create drama to just to have drama in my life because I don't want to do something. It's so it's by the way, it's most of the time it's unconscious. You don't go, oh, I'm going to pick a fight so I don't have to do this thing or I'm going to like redecorate my house so I don't have to focus or I'm going to get. So my neighbor got a puppy and I've been thinking about this the whole time so that she might actually listen to this, but she's also my neighbor. Uh, sorry, neighbor. Uh, but she got a, she was telling me all the stuff that she wanted to do. And then I noticed she got a puppy and I was like, that is such a form of resistance versus what she was telling me she wanted to do about her business. So pay attention to how personal responsibility is coming up. And again, are you in victimhood? Are you blaming? Are you denying? Are you in resistance and somehow? Because again, nobody's going to work harder than you. I'm not going to. If a, if a coach tells you they're going to, they're lying. They're lying or they're idiots and they have really bad boundaries. And you don't want that either. You don't want a, a, a coach that doesn't know how to do her own work, by the way. That's very, very, that's really important. If you want someone to rescue you, go find a bad therapist because they're not going to do that either. Any good coach and any good therapist has excellent boundaries. And if you find somebody that allows you to walk all over them, they're a bad coach or a therapist. Drum roll, please. Everybody, my once a year signature business course is almost here. We are opening the doors to our second annual summer school, Monday, June 15th for two weeks only. That's June 15th through the 30th. Don't do stuff you suck at. Entrepreneurial school for creative and visionary intuitives is a proven eight-stage process to build your business the right way in the right order, specifically for intuitive types. We are only 25% of the population, so therefore we need a different approach than the rest of them out there in the muggle world. So I built that for us, and I gotta say, it's pretty damn amazing. So this summer in July and August, we will spend eight weeks going over the eight stages in a beautifully designed and easy to use online platform filled with videos, handouts, homework, PDFs that you have lifetime access to, by the way. Then every single week, we will have a Q&A call on Zoom so that we connect. I don't love me barking at you through a Facebook Live, so we're actually going to be able to see each other and, and have dialogue, and it's awesome. At the end of the eight weeks together, this group only will have a special invitation into an ongoing mastery group for continued implementation, support, and guidance through the eight stages. But you have to be in now to get access to that ongoing mastery group. You guys, I seriously, I do, I get it. Times are tough right now. And I can honestly say one of the main things keeping me going right now is having a stable business, things to do in my business that can withstand a few punches now and again. And I want to teach you the same. 
This is your only opportunity in 2020. So please don't let it pass you by. So go to jessicabutts.com now to get your special. Okay, I'm not supposed to do this. So I'm going to get in trouble from my team. But go to jessicabutts.com. Uh, you'll just see it right there on the page uh, to get a special insider podcast listener only early registration. I, we're technically not opening it until June 15th, but you know, I love, love, love you guys. You guys are so dang loyal. You listen every single week. I can see it on there. So sh- don't tell anybody. I cannot wait to meet you, connect with you, teach you everything I know about building a beautiful business the right way, the intuitive way, help you embrace your unique and special intuitiveness and help you build a stable and successful life and business. Can't wait to see you. So the next part is you got to have a vision, my friends. How are you going to get there is you got to have a vision. So I talked about this in where are you going? But this is also part of this is you cannot live five minutes in front of your face. There's no target When you live five minutes in front of your face, I will also say there's no motivation. Like if I didn't have a long-term goal, would I get up at 5 a.m. every day? Hell to the fucking no, I would not do that. Hell no, I would not do that. But I have stuff to do. I've got a calendar. I also, I mean, I'll be honest, there's days where I don't have to get up that early, but I do it because I know that that's my best time of day. I know that I'm my most creative. I know that that is when the universe and God brings me all of my messages and I get to be super mega creative during that time. So not five minutes in front of my face is, uh, it's, I find living five minutes in front of your face very childlike, if I'm going to be honest. It's not thinking about the future. It's not being responsible. It's not taking, you know, having fun is fun. Yes, there's times where I drink too much because it's fun and I just want to do it and I don't think about the consequences. But if I am going to be running a successful business and, you know, having long-term goals, I can't do that every day. I can't sleep in. I can't you know, again, 80-20 rule, my friends. In fact, I'm going to talk about that on my birthday. My next episode is coming out on my birthday, July 7th. I'm going to be 47 years old. I literally don't know how that is possible, but I'm going to be 47. So on my birthday, July 7th, Tuesday, there's be a special episode. But I I find it a little childlike when people just live five minutes in front of their face, meaning I'm just going to eat whatever I want to eat and I don't care about the consequences. I'm going to do whatever I want to do without the consequences. That is not the way CEOs run their business. And again, I don't really care if this is your life. Like if that's your life, do what you want to do. But I am here talking right now specifically about running your business and having a CEO mentality. And Living five minutes in front of your face does not work when you are running a business. It does not work. You are constantly throwing spaghetti on a wall. You are constantly reactive, right? Versus proactive. It's constantly like, oh my God, I got to do this. Oh shit. What about this? Oh my God, I don't have a plan. Oh my God. What's this podcast going to be about? Oh, I don't know what to email. Oh, I don't. You're, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess, my friend. So vision, get your butt out of bed or do whatever you need to do to find time to journal. Yes, you can find time. Everybody can find time. Create a vision board. Create a vision for your business. Do some visionary work. Do some meditation. Do some journaling and visioning. And uh, Lisa Guyman, G-U-Y-M-A-N, on iTunes is a life visualization is my favorite guided meditation. There's a million of them out there, but I should probably get money from her by now because I've referred it for like seven years. Lisa Guyman on iTunes, life visualization. But these, these are things that we can't, I I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it, except you just, you got to have a plan. My friends, you got to have a vision. You got to have a plan. So today I had a call with my live unapologetic group, which I love so much. 
I mean, it's like the biggest delight in my life right now. I love it so much. So I started doing courses. I don't know if you guys know that, but the course material is now in two different courses. So my life content the for intuitive type specifically is in Live Unapologetically. And then Summer School, Don't Do Stuff You Suck At is in a course. So that when we get together on our weekly calls, we get to connect. So I'm doing Q&A. We're unmuting people. I'm not talking at you on Facebook. Uh, we are on Zoom and unmuting and communicating. And it is absolutely ridiculously delightful. And I've, as I've mentioned, that's part of why this podcast is not my zone of genius is because I have realized I'm more of a connector than I am an educator, which I'm like sitting in my office right now talking into a microphone and not seeing your fabulous face and seeing your expression and hearing your questions and having your ah ahas. So in our call, that was a very long way to say on our call this morning, we talked a lot about, it just came up through Q&A about sometimes we feel like we need permission. And my friends, part of how are you going to get there is giving yourself permission, or if you need it from me, permission granted. Permission granted, my friends, to live the life that you want to live to live unorthodox, to live as a weirdo, to live as only 25% of the population. That's what this podcast is for. And by the way, when I come back, I'm going to take a little break. And when I come back, I'm going to be restructuring this even more specifically to intuitive types because you guys are my people. And the muggle world, 75% of the population does not get us. We literally speak different languages, but because they're 75% of the population, they don't understand us. And therefore, we need a safe place to congregate and a safe place to let our freak flag flies fly. So this is for, again, creative visionary, intuitives, think outside the box, rebels, truth tellers, empaths, uh, deeply, deeply emotional. Well, that's not necessarily true. I should take that one back. Not necessarily always emotional, um, but creative and, and, and again, unorthodox. So I just got a message, uh, just before this actually from a, one of the beautiful women in the LU group, Live Unapologetically group. And she just wrote me and said, Hey, I quit my job. And I, and I, that's usually my, one of my favorite things to hear. And she was, and she's not normally a swearer, but she just wrote and was like, I'm so fucking excited to be living my life my way. It took me listening to this course and realizing and just like leaning into my weird and realizing how unorthodox I am and not, that is not only awesome and okay, but it's my life. This is my life, and I've been living in this box designed by the muggle world for muggles, and I'm not a muggle. I'm a whatever the other one is. I don't even know what it's called. I always just say this. I think, oh, I forgot what they're called. Damn it. It's in one of my books, but um, this is a Harry Potter reference for those of you who don't know, and we've got to get to a place. I knew this was going to choke me up when I wrote it. We've got to get to a place where we give ourselves permission. We need people who get us. We need permission to not necessarily have the nine to five job to say and do things that are different than 75% of the population for people who don't get us. We've got to start giving ourselves permission. So part of how you're going to get there is by acknowledging this, leaning into it fully, leaning into it fully, leaning into your weird, leaning into your intuitive, leaning into your entrepreneurial spirit, embracing the shit out of it, and then screaming it from the rooftops, my friends. Screaming it from the rooftops. 
And it starts with giving yourself permission, giving yourself permission, and then letting it just embody you. So I hope that this was helpful for you today. And I hope this whole series was helpful for you of who are you, where are you going, and how are you going to get there? And I'll be back on my birthday. I'm going to tell you a little bit more then um, about how I'm restructuring things and going to take a little break. I will be back and shift and all, all the things. You can absolutely follow me on Instagram um, over the summer. Uh, but part of my pivot and part of me leaning even more and more and more into this is realizing more and more that intuitives are my people and building courses and communities for us. Because if I, if I think about the emails and the DMs and the messages I've received probably over the last seven plus years of ahas from my clients, it's always around this, that understanding their intuitiveness helps them see themselves and validate themselves and accept themselves more than anything ever has in their whole life. And I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Whether that be in your life or your business. And I am now realizing through COVID and this crazy emotional roller coaster we've all been on in 2020 that this is where I am going to singular focus. So I'm doing the work too. I always, you know, it's not like I'm just barking it at you guys. Uh, I'm going to be doing the work too. And I am getting even more singular focused. So this will continue to be after a little bit of a break. The Live Unapologetic uh, course is coming up. Um, we're going to have a flash sale uh, July 6th through the 11th. So make sure you listen for that. Um, and then I am going to be doing community building around this. And I'm, I, I feel more calm than I probably ever have before. And my friends, I want the same for you. And I will also say it's an evolution. It is not a destination. It is a journey, not an end point. And that's part of the fun. It's part of the fun is that we never get to just hang our hats on. All right. I'm done. It doesn't work like that. And it, and it's fun. I mean, especially for us intuitives, right? We get real bored. So accepting the fact that things are going to evolve and get more and more and more and more niche, get you more in your zone of genius. Um, and a big part of that is accepting your intuitiveness. All right, my friends. Oh, uh, I get to go be the next two days with my lady bosses in masks and super social distance. It's a little bit sad. No hugs, uh, but we are getting together. So I'm going to go rest up and give them my absolute best here in the Seattle area. Um, I'm also watching a bald eagle fly outside my window here in Seattle. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful being with you. Thank you so much for listening. And I will see you on my birthday. Bye. the bottom of my heart. Truly, thank you so much for listening. I know that you have a ton of options and the fact that you are taking time to listen to the Front Seat Life podcast means absolutely everything to me. If you're interested in learning more about the Front Seat Life way of life in the community, there's a couple ways that you can do that. First is always starting with your personality assessment tool. It's available on my website at jessicabutts.com. It's totally free and it will help you figure out your personality type so you'll have some idea of what we're talking about. Next is if if you're interested in hiring me for a keynote or some coaching or strategy days or the fabulous and amazing Front Seat Life community, you can find out all about all of that at jessicabutts.com. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you next time.